Hello students, let us take some examples on properties. So the first example says integration from minus 1 to 1 bracketed of x bracket of 1 plus sin pi x plus 1 dx. Now over here in the example students, we are going to use this property that is property number 3 that is I am going to break this integral into two parts. So let us break this integral that is first integral is from minus 1 to 0 fx dx plus integral from 0 to 1 fx dx. Now students, note over here that in the first integral limits are given from minus 1 to 0. So when x is between minus 1 to 0, I am going to calculate value of sin pi x. So sin pi x will be from minus 1 to 0 because pi x, when x is between minus 1 to 0, pi x will be in third and fourth quadrant. And in third and fourth quadrant, sin pi x is from minus 1 to 0. And hence, when I add one both the side, it will become 1 plus sin x will be from 0 to 1. Substituting this, using the bracketed this value, bracket of 1 plus sin pi x will be equal to 0. Because 1 plus sin pi x was from 0 to 1. So bracketed value will become equal to 0. Now, substituting this value in the integral, you can see over there, the value becomes 0 of the bracketed value. And now for the second integral, limits are given from 0 to 1. So when x is between 0 to 1, sin pi x, since pi x is from 0 to pi, sin pi x will become from 0 to 1. And now when I take, add 1 both the side, I will get 1 to 2, the range will become from 1 to 2. So bracketed of this value will become equal to 1. Now I am going to substitute this value 1 over there in the integral, so it will become 1 over there in the integral. Now simplifying it further, I will obtain i will be equal to integral minus 1 to 0. Now since the inner bracket was become equal to 0, so the integral of bracketed 1, bracket 1 is simple 1, so it becomes 1 dx. And for the second integral, its inner bracket has become equal to 1, but x is still over there, so it becomes bracket of x plus 1. Now students, when I simplify it further, let us check how do we do it. For the first integral, the value is very easy to simplify that is integrating 1, we get x limits from minus 1 to 0. For second integral, students, I hope you remember this property that bracketed of x plus integer will be equal to bracketed x plus integer. Over here in the second integral, bracket x plus 1 is there, 1 is the integer. So when I simplify, it becomes 0 to 1 bracketed x plus 1 dx. In the integral of bracketed, limits are given from 0 to 1. Now since limit is of from 0 to 1, bracketed x value will become equal to 0, hence the second integral becomes 0. And now when I simplify it further, I get the answer as 2. So students, I hope you understood this question. Let's move further. Now, the second integral, the second question which is given to us is I have to evaluate the value of this integral. You can see it's given in two parts. In both the parts, limits are different. In first integral, limit is from minus 4 to minus 5. In second integral, limit is from minus 2 to 1. Looking at this, I can say that we'll have to use the substitution which we have studied, x equal to b minus a into t plus a. That is this property which we have studied. I convert both the limits from 0 to 1. So to do that, let us start with the first integral. I've taken it as i1. So minus 4 to minus 5, sine of x square minus 3. Now substituting the limit, substituting x equal to b minus a into t plus a, over here, b minus a, that is upper limit minus lower limit, plus a, a is the lower limit, that is minus 4. So simplifying it, x becomes minus t minus 4. And now when I substitute it in the given integral, I get integral 0 to 1 using the property students. x is replaced by minus t minus 4, taking the square of it, simplifying it further. When I simplify it further, I expand the bracket, right? And then I'm simplifying it and i1 becomes 0 to 1 sine of t square plus 8t plus 13. I've taken this integral aside. I'm now going to solve integral second, that is i2, which is given as minus 2 to 1 integration of this. Again, substituting x equal to b minus a into t plus a, b and a are the upper and the lower limits. So when I substitute the upper and lower limits over here, x equal to t minus 2, substituting the this substitution in the integral, I get 0 to 1 sine of the substitution. And now simplifying it further, 
I get i2 equal to 0 to 1 sine of the integral and now simplifying it further 0 to 1 it is just a simplification I have done and obtained this. You can see over here friends i1 and i2 are both of opposite sign. So, when I add i1 and i2 it becomes equal to 0. So, friends the value of this i1 plus i2 becomes equal to 0. I hope you understood this. Thank you.